In this video I will show you how you can check the linearity assumption and what happens if you don't check this assumption. As almost all statistical procedures, linear structural equation modeling has assumptions and you are only allowed to interpret the results if those assumptions are met. One crucial assumption for structural equation modeling is that we have linear relationships between our latent variables. So in this example that between the two independent variables and the three mediators there are linear relationships and between the mediators and the dependent variables are linear relationships and not nonlinear relationships, not U-shaped relationships, not inverted U-shaped relationships and so on. And if we don't check this assumption we can draw completely false conclusions. How do we check if the linearity assumption holds? First we run an SEM model, then we estimate factor scores, that is estimates for the latent variables. And then we use those factor scores to draw bivariate scatter plots and check them whether we have signs for nonlinearity in the relationships between those variables. So for each directional arrow here we need a bivariate scatter plot to see whether the relationship is linear or nonlinear. How you estimate factor scores? that's different between the different SEM programs. For AMIS and for M+, I put links to short tutorials how to extract factor scores for those two programs in the description of this video. For LAVAN I will demonstrate how to extract factor scores and I will show you what happens if you don't check this assumption. So the following part is relevant for users of all kinds of SEM models, not only for LAVAN, that is R users. The example I use is the most simple SEM model I can think of. One independent variable, one dependent variable. So basically a simple regression but with latent variables, with three indicator variables each. Here is the R code, here we have the data, three indicators for the independent variable, three indicators for the dependent variable. Here is our model, the two measurement models and the structural model containing just our simple regression. We estimate that model and look at the results. It's a simulated data set so the results are slightly better than you would expect in a real life data set. Here's the test statistic, the chi-square test so it's not significant, that's really good. The CFI is perfect, the RMSEA is perfect and the SRMR is nearly perfect. So great results. So based on model fit we would say this model is really good. And for the parameter estimates the most important one is the regression. Here we have a significant negative relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable. Great, isn't it? No, it's not, because we haven't checked the linearity assumption yet. Of course, there are other assumptions we would have to check. In this tutorial I just concentrate on linearity. But in your research, of course, you should check the other assumptions as well. So, let's extract factor scores. In R we do this with the laugh predict function and we use this function on the result of our SEM estimation. Here are the first lines of the resulting data frame. We have estimates for the independent variable, for the latent independent variable and estimates for the latent dependent variable for the different observations. Now we check the linearity just by looking at a scatter plot. I think even from this scatter plot it should be clear that we don't have a linear relationship because from left to right first they are slightly increasing and then they are decreasing. But to see this more clearly there is another method, the so called lowest regression. That is a non parametric visual regression where the program draws a graph through the data points. And if the real relationship is linear we would get a straight line. But if the real relationship is curved then we will get some curved shape. And here the lowest graph for our data we can clearly see we have an inverted U shaped form where the values first increase and then further to the right they decrease. So the conclusion we had drawn from our perfectly fitting SEM model that we had a negative significant relationship is simply wrong in this case because for the lowest third of the independent variable in fact we have a positive relationship and the relationship only gets negative for medium and high values of the independent variable. So I think this clearly shows without checking linearity you can draw false conclusions from your SEM results. And the fit indices and the chi-square test are no help there because you can draw false conclusions even though you have perfect fit indices and a non-significant chi-square test. So you have to test linearity otherwise you are not allowed to interpret results from an SEM model. 
And what do you do if there is a violation of the linearity assumption in your data, as in this case? For that, one possibility would be nonlinear modeling, for instance a polynomial model, which maybe you know from polynomial regression, that is, you include the squared value of the independent variable in addition to the independent variable in your model. Of course, it's more complicated if you're doing this with latent variables, as in full SEM. How to do that? That depends on the program you use. For R, there is a package for nonlinear structural equation modeling. You'll find a link to the documentation of that package in the description of this video. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.